Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're talking about smart homes and we're specifically talking about these power plugs right here. These are the Jinvu power plugs. Uh, you can get these pretty, pretty cheaply online uh, from the Amazon store, wherever you may need to shop for your electronic goods. Uh, and essentially what you do is you plug in your device into here. This is an Australian plug right here. And then you can power the device on or off. You can schedule it. You can talk to your smart home devices, your Alexa, your Google, uh, and actually tell the device on and off. And this will actually go and power the device on and off. So we're gonna go through uh, setting it up. Very, very easy setup and how to get that up and running and working. Okay, so here are the two plugs. So we've got two of them and we're just going to essentially just grab one of those and run that into power. This is obviously an Australian plug right here. We've got a power point, it's already powered on. We're just gonna plug that in. And what will happen is you'll see that the light itself is now on, so the blue light. Uh, and right from here, you can essentially just push the light and you see that it turns red and pushing it back. And that's all well and good for a simple on off switch. But we obviously now wanna go and configure this onto our uh, suite of smart home devices, which includes Alexa. So we're gonna go onto our phone. So what you'll need to do is you need to go into the App Store. Uh, this uh, application will be available from the Apple uh, App Store or from the Android Store as well. Uh, we're looking for Jinvu Smart. So I've just gone ahead and downloaded that. So if I open it up, I'm gonna be presented with our simple front page and it's asking me to register or to log in with an existing account. So in the first instance, you'll need to go and register an account for you, accept the privacy policy, put in your email address right there, and then it will send you a verification code. We're not gonna go through this step. You can also do it via mobile phone as well. It'll send you a code and then you can log in, create a simple account for you. In my case, I've already created an account, so I can just simply just go into login and I'll log in with my existing credentials. So my simple login screen, once I've logged in, I've already got a spare uh, plug already there configured. Um, so you will probably not have anything there. You'll have a button here that says add device or something similar. Click on that and you're gonna be presented with this screen here. All right, you can add manually or you can search for device. Uh, you can do it manually. I would recommend going in and searching for device. So we're gonna go and click on that. And now essentially it's just ensuring that the device is ready for network connection. Now in our case, it is not. So we have to set the device into that mode first. So on the plug, you wanna go and hold the power button down for about six seconds, and then it'll, you'll see a couple of flashes. And then let it go. So back on our phone, that is now in a discovery mode. And if everything has worked correctly, your Wi-Fi plug should show up, all right? That's really as easy as it is. If it doesn't show up automatically, I'd recommend you go and try that again but essentially just holding that power button down uh, for th six seconds, it'll start to flash a couple of times every second and then it'll show up right in here under search for devices. So I'll just literally just select that device, click on next, and it's now saying that the device has been added successfully. So I'm gonna go and actually rename this uh, to something that's a bit more meaningful. So right here, whatever device you're gonna use with it, it could be your, your kitchen, it could be your television, on and off, things like that. Uh, for the purpose of this, I, this is just going to be a spare one for me. So I'm just going to call it spare two and save. So that has added it to my main screen right here. I've now got spare one and spare two. You see nice and easy, I can switch the device off and on literally right from the application. Now this is obviously from the app itself. This is not from the Alexa suite. So the next step is now adding that switch into our Alexa device list. I can also just go into the switch itself and put the socket on and off. I can rename it, I can do a countdown, I can do scheduling, all this sort of fancy stuff. Next step is to go ahead and open up your Amazon Alexa app. I'm sure that you've got this already. If you don't, you need to go and get it. Uh, click on this little thing at the top and go into skills and games. And right here, you need to go and download a new skill that is relevant to this app. Okay, so we're gonna look up Jinvu, Jinvu Smart. Here it is right here. Essentially, this is allowing the, uh, the Alexa app, the Amazon Alexa app to um, know and discover 
uh, the Jinvu smart enabled uh, devices. So it's going to send you to this login page. So this is literally the account that you just use to log into the app. Use it to log into this particular part here on the Alexa app. Once you've logged in, click on authorize. And now it actually has been successfully linked. So we can go ahead and click on done. And next step is to go and discover devices. So that will take a little bit of time and you'll see that it now actually does say that two devices have been have been found, which is great, which are the two devices that we saw in my application itself. I can now say choose device and you'll see that's automatically populated the names. It's found those two, spare one and two. We'll see that the one that we just configured is two. Let's go ahead and select number two and set up device. We'll skip adding it to a group. You can do that later. So you can add these obviously to particular groups around your house, depending on where it's going to be. And that's it. So now under my devices section, under plugs, I've got now spare two. So direct from the app itself, nice and easy. Now because it is within here, I can now literally just talk to my Alexa device and uh, turn it on and off. Alexa, turn spare two on. But that was the simple steps, the simple setup for these Jinvu power plugs. So I've actually got five all around my house, which makes it really, really easy to be able to power things on and off. If you found it helpful, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up, comment below, and also subscribe to my channel and click on that little notification bell to keep you updated as we release new videos. But that's it for now. Hope you found it helpful and we'll talk to you next time.